Good morning, guys. I pray that everyone is well. Um, for those who are new to the page, welcome. My name is Jasmine. I'm just a sister in Christ here sharing um, the prophetic insight and revelation that God gives me out of obedience. And I just pray that whatever he gives me really help you guys in building your personal relationship with Jesus Christ as we go through these deep waters of life together. Amen. So today, guys, I wanted to share with you this little revelation God gave me a couple days ago. He finally finished it this morning. And so I'm in Matthew chapter four, right? Um, and I've read this chapter like a hundred times. And it, this in this chapter, this is a chapter where, you know, um, Jesus is baptized by John. You know, God, Father God confirms that this is his son. And then he ends up going into the wilderness He's tempted by the devil, right? For 40 days. And so um, now I'm at the part where it says Jesus begins his ministry, right? So this is Matthew 4 verse 12. And it says, now when he heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew into Galilee and leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. And so I don't know why, but I stopped at that verse. Like it caught my attention. So I was like, and leaving Nazareth, he went and lived in Capernaum by the sea in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali. Okay, so I was like, okay, what are you trying to tell me, Holy Spirit? So I started looking up the Hebrew meanings of the names of the cities. Like, so Nazareth, Capernaum, Zebulun, and Naphtali. So Nazareth in Hebrew means to be separated, crowned, or sanctified, right? And then... Capernaum in Hebrew means a village of comfort. Zebulun in Hebrew means to dwell. And Naphtali means my struggles. And so this is, as I put it together, this is what the Holy Spirit like put in my heart. So as after Jesus finished his period of testing and refinement, right? He was separated, right? Left Nazareth and went to live to a place of comfort by the sea, Capernaum, in the territory where he can dwell from his struggles, which is Zebulun and Naphtali. And literally, that is what God is doing for us now. For those who have walked through the wilderness, Right, You've gone through that time of testing and refinement. And now as God prepares you to full out your ministry, whatever that is, whatever that looks like, right? He is separating you from your old, right? From your old you, that would be your Nazareth. And he's bringing you to a place of comfort, okay? That is your Capernaum, so that you have a place to dwell while in your struggles, so while in this world, so you could fulfill what he is calling you to do from a place of comfort while living in the struggles of this world, okay? And I, I don't see, I know it's not a coincidence that the message that Jesus preaches once he reaches, right, Capernaum is the message of repentance because it says in verse 17, from that time, Jesus began to preach saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And in my last video, I talked to you guys about how God was setting up watchmen for this very reason, because he wants us to be the light as the world starts to get dark and to preach the message of repentance from a place of love and understanding. And so this should not take us by surprise that God would have us walk in the steps that Jesus walked, right? Because Jesus came to this earth to be an example of how we should live our lives, right? To, to God. So I just wanted to share this little revelation as, as like an encouragement because right now we're probably going through this phase where in the transition, we're going through like a stretching. The, I don't know if you guys feel it, but I've been feeling like, there's a part of me that that I know God is calling me to be more and do more, really step out of my shell. He's been putting me in situations where he wants me to exercise what he's shown me that he's placed in me, right? Spiritual gifts or whatever lessons he's placed in me, right? So there's this stretching, but at the same time, I feel like I'm having this internal struggle with like doubts and insecurities of like, 
you know, holding on to my past, like that comfort I've developed in the wilderness. And there's a place of almost peace you find in the midst of solitude when God places you, like set, sets you apart to work on you in the wilderness. And so it's like that, that pull, that pull to like grow into what God's calling you to be while also having to mourn everything you're leaving. Um, and so I know that he wanted me to share this revelation to give you guys some peace to know that where he's taking you next will be a place of comfort so that you can dwell in the midst of all the struggles um, and be able to fulfill that which he has called you to do, right? To fulfill your ministry, whatever that is, however that looks, okay? And so I'm just, I'm excited, but also scared. If, and I know you guys can relate, like, those who who are with it, who, those who know, I know you guys are there with me and you get it. And so just know that God has a place of comfort for us to go to, that this place that he's taking us in this transition will be for our good and will be a place that we can do what he's calling us to do, that he will make sure we are fully prepared with everything that we need when we get there to carry out the message. Okay. So I just wanted to share this because, um, it really helped bring a little more peace during this time of stretching and transition to me. And I pray that it does the same for you guys. Until next time.